We are making Boderku, a Dutch butter cake. Hi, come join me in the kitchen. We are going to be baking a cake. The ingredients we'll be needing are white all-purpose flour, white sugar, almond extract, two eggs, small, butter, almonds, flaked, and a baking pan. The first step we're going to do is preheat our oven to 325 degrees. Then into the, my bowl, I'm going to add my flour, which is two cups of flour and my one cup of butter. Okay, now I'm going to just cut the butter into the flour. So you might need another tool to help get that out so it doesn't stick to the tines. Okay. And I'm just gonna slowly cut it in. Okay. Cut that right in. Okay. okay. Cut it in so it's nice and thick chunks of butter in there. And then I'm gonna add my sugar, which is one cup of sugar. And then incorporate that. Okay. All right, it's looking really good, nice and lumpy. It's looking really good. So I'm just gonna just take some of this butter out from my pastry cutter. And then, okay, next I'm going to add one egg. Okay, and now I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of pure almond extract. So this is half a teaspoon, so three of these. One and a half teaspoons, one, two, three. If you like it extra almondy, then feel free to add more. Okay, so while that is incorporating, 
don't need this. I'm going to now use my spoon. Okay. So you're probably coming to the part where, why do we have an extra egg? Well, the extra egg is going to be for the top. So I'm just gonna keep mixing and then on to the next step. All right, our next step is to take our dough and place it into our baking pan. Now I've lightly um, sprayed the pan. Um, you don't need to do a heavy, 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 heavy spray um, because we're using butter and the butter is literally going to um, melt and incorporate. So it's it's a very sticky, sticky, sticky um, buttery dough. So you don't need very much Pam spray or sp any kind of like cooking spray because it is just going to literally come out of the pan. So next is to press this into the pan. Press it in really good. Okay. We're gonna press it in. If you need to, you can um, wet your hands a little bit and that will prevent sticking. All right, now we've got this really um, padded in. Okay, we'll be back for the next step. All right, I just laid a little bit of saran wrap, plastic wrap on top, and I'm pressing it really firmly down in the pan so it um, is nice and um, packed in. Okay, so now that it is packed in, okay, you can just lift, oops, you can just lift off the saran wrap and then touch up any areas which have come up. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's gonna look good. When it bakes, you're not even gonna notice because we have a next step. The next step is an egg wash. So I'm just gonna take one egg and then I'm going to whisk it up. Whisk it up really well. And then this is gonna get brushed on top. So brush it right on top of your cake. And then you can always, as an alternative, um, reserve some of the, the dough that is crumbly and then put on an apricot, um, um, some apricot jam, and then sprinkle some of the remaining dough on top. Okay, this is looking awesome. So now, my last step is the almonds. Now with the almonds, I'm just gonna decorate the top with almonds. A light light layer you can definitely do a pattern if you have the ones that are a little thicker but I'm just gonna add my flaked almonds we have too many little crunchy bits little little slurs okay this is looking really good we want it all incorporated because we don't want to have any jealous people who don't get an almond Okay, this looks great. So now this is gonna go into the oven and bake for one half hour.
All right, here's our finished product. Our cake has just come right out of the oven.